Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. Um, recently, I've been trying to get some Siege content for you guys. The seasonal skins are not out yet. Um, but while I was playing the test servers, I've noticed that BattleEye has been crashing not only the test servers um, when I launch Siege, but the main game. So whatever update they did, either the you play, I've reinstalled all that stuff. Um, it keeps crashing my actual shadow play. It also won't let me launch OBS successfully. So this is a workaround that I found. Um, it also works on Ghost Recon break, uh, Breakpoint. And this workaround is quite simple. Two things. You need to make sure that you have your GeForce experience ready to be available and accessible because you have to turn it back on. Um, you need to make sure within GeForce Experience is still one thing. Uh, within GeForce Experience that you have under the privacy tab that you have your desktop enabled to be recorded. Okay, so now that that's set and that's out of the way, you go into the game and instead of doing full screen for the actual game, then you can go ahead and toggle that to windowed full screen. And what that will do is it'll take it out of that full screen mode where the block is happening and it'll pretty much make it full screen. So, so it, look, it still looks the same. The downside is that it caps your FPS to whatever your um, monitors refresh rate is. So like mine just blacks out the 143 FPS, but I can still capture. So it's more important for me to be able to capture than to get, you know, 250 FPS. I'd rather that, but until they fix this, this is kind of a workaround. Um, and on breakpoint, I noticed the same thing. So essentially in any game that battle eye is crashing your your game or your recording software try that and let me know in the comment section if it worked for you um, i was looking for some different ways to you know kind of figure out a workaround for this because i was not going to invest in a capture card which is pretty much the other way to do it is if you had like a what is it called uh, elgato or uh, one of those aver media boxes that will let you record content direct from there but you have to kind of pass it through it's messy um, I'd just rather have this work, to be honest, where I can just play in full screen with my max FPS. But this is something that at least when the seasonal skins come out, I'll be able to review it. Uh, when I get something cool that happens in the game, I'm able to clip it, put it in there. Uh, but overall, hopefully, like I said, this fix works for you. It worked for me. And um, you may need to go into your desktop. So the check, uh, check your folders, because if it's not putting the clips into the correct folders, uh, check your desktop recording folder. And you may see some of the clips in there, like if it didn't pick up the actual game name, which shouldn't be an issue, but um, you know, it is what it is. Another downside to this is as you can see right there, um, your actual notifications show up in your content. So at the end of the day, uh, if you're having this issue, and this is the only issue I'm having with what I've noticed with Battle Eye. Because Battle Eye starts, like when you first click on Siege, Battle Eye starts. I see my little recording icon go away on the bottom corner. And then I have to manually minimize Siege once it's open, go into GeForce Experience, reactivate my recording software, and so on and so forth, and then complete the steps. So, like I said, you guys be easy. I'll catch you in the next video. And this was just like a quick impromptu fix that I found that I wanted to share with you all. All right, that's it.